Hello viewers, I welcome you all to my 3 minute lecture series on structural analysis. So let's get started. Our first topic for this lecture series is basics of structural analysis and structural idealization. So before discussing the structural idealization, we must know what is the structural analysis. So the purpose of structural analysis is to evaluate the external reactions, the deformed sheep and the internal stresses in the structure. So first and most important step for structural analysis is structural idealization, then applying loads, calculating reactions, then internal forces, internal stresses, which is the part of mechanics or materials, and finally we evaluate safety and efficiency, that is the part of design. So loads are basically classified into two types, one is gravity loading, which is vertically downward and another is horizontal loading which is also known as lateral loads so the common example for the gravity loadings are sulfate of the structure live load of the structure the common examples for the horizontal loads are wind effects on the structure seismic effects or any retained material against a structure temperature and vibrations now why it is important to determine a response of a structure when a force is applied on a body so its response may be elastic or plastic so the principle aim of structural design is that the body or the structure must behave elastically that means it should be returnable in nature now comes the most important topic that is structural idealization so a structure is always composed of members sometimes they are also called as elements supports but in terms of mathematics we call them a boundary conditions so the structural idealization is the manner a structure is represented for analysis so normally the members or elements are represented by straight lines here is the example this is the actual structure so in order to analyze the structure so we need to create an idealized form like this so all the members are represented with a simple line this is another structure a signboard structure in order to analyze this structure we need to develop an idealized form this is how we need to develop or create an idealized structure similar to the idealization of structure we need to also idealize the supports On the left hand side as you can see this is the actual form of pin support but in order to represent it for analysis we create an idealized form of the pin support most of the time this looks like a triangular shape this is how we create a pin support in steel structures and rcc structures so to create a fixed support in steel structures we need to weld it similarly in order to create a fixed support in rcc structure we need to extend the bars following certain rules and finally this is how we get the idealized form of the supports please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt please write in the comment section thank you and have a nice day